How's it going guys? Tomato here, your king in the north, and I am coming today to bring you an announcement video for the year of 2017, which will be in the next day or two, depending on when this gets uploaded. So before I bore you guys and have you guys run off, I want to give you guys the announcements for things that are going to be going on with the stream. Starting on Monday when I start streaming again, I will be starting up on Music Monday, but throughout that the entire month of January, going into February, a lot of things will be changing. So I, got, I want to give you guys um, the lowdown on what's going on there. So as I'm sure you guys are well aware, I am part of the Cast or Die family, which is a stream team, a uh, community of streamers that, you know, we all kind of look out for each other, give each other some help, give each other advice, play games with each other. It's this really cool community where we all come together uh, as streamers. One thing that we've been talking about doing is a creative team, something that I wanted to kind of get off the ground. Um, definitely was a creative team, a team of just creative streamers, people that want to stream creatively. Before you start shaking your head, no, I'm not leaving video games, but I am going to be doing more creative streaming. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I have started up a team, and it is called Create or Die. And so what's going to be going on here is a lot of people from the Cast or Die family uh, as well as the people outside of the family, just other streamers, uh, have shown interest in joining a team of creative, of like creative minds. And so I put together a Discord for all of us to come together. And what we'll be able to do here is I want to start doing art shows, uh, showcasing all the different artwork of all of these different people. We're going to be doing, I know some people want to do cooking uh, streams, so there's going to be a lot of that going on. So there's just a lot of different creative things that you'll be seeing throughout Create or Die. One thing that I'm going to be doing personally is I'm going to be doing a lot more music. I'm going to be doing Music Mondays for sure, but I also am going to start doing more writing streams. I have a, a book idea that is just, I really want it to come out, and I think streaming and being there, being able to talk to you guys, being able to bounce things off of you guys, have you guys make suggestions, will definitely be able to help me out and help me get that published. So that's where uh, Creator Die is going to be coming in. It's going to be playing a large role here in the next month, the next year, uh, for me, definitely. The next thing that I want to talk about is artwork. So as you can already tell, down here in the corner, I've got kind of a weird new logo. That's just something I put together. As you guys definitely know if you've been into the stream at all, I change my overlays all the time. I cannot decide on anything. But, that'll be changing here soon. Digit is working on some new artwork for me. Hopefully this will be just kind of my final push into a an actual brand. So once he gets that finished, he'll send it to me and then I will be able to show you guys exactly what that's going to look like. Okay, so next major thing that I want to kind of go over is I will be changing bots. One thing I found is a new bot called Phantom Bot. So Phantom Bot is a bot that is very similar to Ankbot in most ways. It has most of the same features, however it does offer more and it is still being supported as it is open software. It is freeware. So People are constantly updating it, adding new features, doing all sorts of cool things with it. I think it's just going to be a better better in the long run for me and for you guys to have a bot that you know, is, con is getting the support that it needs. A lot of the commands I'll be bringing over, Silver and Experience will still be our currency because I'm still going to be using Revlo for Silver. However, Ankbot was what I used the Experience for, so I will be bringing that over to Phantom Bot. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Your time that you spent will still be over there as well. I will be adding the sound effects that I had in Ankbot as well. So most of the things that I had will be brought over. 
you guys aren't going to notice too much of a change except for the name of the bot and the different commands that you guys will be able to do. Other than that, it's not going to be too much different. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on the bot and as soon as I start streaming, you guys will definitely be able to mess around with it a lot more and see the new things, the new features that you guys are able to play around with. Alright, my last kind of announcement here is my streaming schedule. What I've been trying to do, what I tried to do at the end of November um, and going to December was a five day a week schedule uh, for four hours a day and it worked for the first you know week or two I was playing Final Fantasy I was doing my music Mondays uh, consistently however as soon as you know just thought that little extra bit of stress came into my life it kind of made it a lot harder to follow that schedule to where ultimately I wasn't doing it at all and so I don't want that to happen again so what I'm going to be doing for now is cutting back a day so I will still be doing Monday through Thursday streaming 6 to t 6 to 10 yes 6 to well 6 to kind of whenever but 6 to 10 is the set schedule that I will have we'll see where that goes from there uh, if you know things keep looking good things don't look too busy on my end you know I'll add an extra day but right now I'm just going to kind of stick to a four day a week schedule to kind of get things going and again that is Monday through Thursday 6 to 10 so now that you guys know what to kind of expect going into the next year I want to tell you guys about my goals my expectations for what I want by the end of next year and I'm gonna start this off by kind of going over the achievements the kind of things that we've accomplished just in this four month period of me streaming so I started streaming at the beginning of August and since then through the end of November uh, I guess the first week of December I have accumulated 153 followers could be doing my math completely wrong but I believe that's like a follower a day and so I just want to say thank you so very so 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 very much for the amazing support that I've been getting from you guys because I'm obviously doing something right I don't know what it is but you guys are liking it and you're dropping the you're hitting that follow button so I do very much appreciate that I've set up a Discord channel. You guys are able to come and interact with me personally. I've got my Twitter going, and I've actually, I think we've almost to 50 followers on Twitter, which is also pretty awesome considering that's like a third of, you know, my Twitch follow base. So that's pretty sweet. Kind of the biggest thing that has happened in 2016 for me. Uh, streaming wise of course was joining cast or die I didn't join cast or die until kind of the later half of August so there was like a good two or three weeks that I was streaming before I ended up joining them I can say <clears throat> if I hadn't joined cast or die I probably would have stopped streaming I probably would not be here making this video for you guys they have kind of kept me going kept me motivated even though this last month I haven't done a lot but Cast or Die has definitely been there for me to help me out and in turn to help you guys out. I want to give Cast or Die a huge, huge, huge thank you. So that brings me to what I am wanting, my goals for 2017, what I'm wanting by the end of, by this time next year. The main one, the big one that I'm wanting to do is I want to reach 1,000 followers by the end of December. We're at 150 right now. So that's 850 that we've got to get in this next year, and I think that is easily doable, very easily doable. Hopefully by December we have hit that 1,000 follower goal, and so in December I want to try and every stream have, you know, 10 people, 10 people in my stream at all, like all, at all times, just 10. I don't want to see my little viewer count. I don't want to see it drop below 10. So we're gonna get 1,000 followers, 10 concurrent viewers, and then the big one. Going to TwitchCon in 2017. Going to TwitchCon! So a lot of us in Caster Die have already been talking about it, and we all, well, I can't say all, but a good chunk of us are wanting to go to TwitchCon in 2017. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully everything goes to plan and everybody in Caster Die that is wanting to go is able to go. Whether or not I go with Caster Die, I will be going to TwitchCon 2017. With the support from you guys, it will be a lot a whole hell of a lot easier to go so you know keep the follows coming in keep the viewer count up let's get it going guys we're gonna be in twitch con 
and I want to see all of your bright shiny faces there. All 1,075 of you. But I just want to say thank you again to all of the support that I've gotten just out of these short four months, four to five months, and all the followers I've received, the few subs that I've actually received off of Game Wisp, thank you guys very much, the donations that have come in, thank you so much for all of the amazing support this year, and we're going to make 2017 so much better. Thank you to Caster Die, to Mom, for making things so much easier for me to get into streaming, to get my stream off the ground. 2017 is going to be a blast, and I cannot wait for the kingdom to make it stand. Everybody will know by the end of 2017 who the king in the north is. So I say thank you, and Godspeed, my fair citizens.